Hi friends, it's week five of Book Club with 60 Living featuring How Not to Diet by Dr. Michael Greger. This week in pages 121 through 150, Dr. Greger gives us four more ingredients in the recipe for the ultimate weight loss, um, healthy living template. Um, he talks about eating fiber-rich foods, water-rich foods, foods that have a low glycemic load, and foods low in fat. He said that telling people to increase their intakes of fiber-rich foods was the single most effective advice for weight loss. The single most effective advice for weight loss is fiber. So what is fiber? Fiber is the structure of plants. So animal products have no fiber. They have no plant fiber. So where do we get this fiber? Now all plants have fiber, but some plants have really rich sources of fiber and the best sources are whole intact grains like um, brown rice, barley, wheat, uh, sorghum, and legumes which are beans, peas, chickpeas, lentils, um, edamame, yum. So these fiber rich foods are chewed up, but we as humans can't digest fiber. But the trillions of organisms in our gut microbiome do digest fiber, and wonderfully so. I don't know about you, but uh, hearing about the gut microbiome has been new to me in the last five, 10 years, um, and I wondered why. But I think, it's hard to get into the intestines and apparently the little microorganisms die out in the air. So they, it's hard to test them, but with um, new technology and new instruments, uh, scientists have been able during the last decade to really uh, dive deep into investigating what happens in our intestines, in the digestive system, and how does this miraculous system work with the gut-brain connection? <clears throat> well, the fiber that's digested in the intestines is comfort food for the colon. That's what all these critters are eating, the fiber. And once the digestive uh, enzymes and uh, digested food gets into the bloodstream, it does wonderful things throughout the body. Um, this digested fiber helps to promote and strengthen the immune system. It reduces inflammation throughout the body. This fiber helps to improve mental health. It reduces hunger and cravings and addictions. This week I have been so fired up about the reading um, the 30 pages that I read it twice and then I listened to it four more times as I was doing chores around the house and driving around doing errands because finally I was able to understand more fully what causes the carb addictions that I have and why I was gaining weight so easily. But what really fired me up is it gave me solutions to get rid of the carb addictions. Um, digested fiber in our gut uh, reduces the hunger and cravings. It improves the satisfaction of the food that we do eat, the satiety of the food. It speeds up our metabolism. It blocks starches so that the calories we eat do not all get absorbed. Um, the fiber helps to reduce body fat in a bunch of different ways and it even is a workout for the intestine. If you've eaten really high fiber foods, then while you're sleeping, 
um, your intestines, those little muscles are still working all night long and you burn, I think he said 50 calories a night just by sleeping and digesting. Good news for all of us. <clears throat> um, the digestion process creates short chain fatty acids. I'm not going to go into all the science behind that and all the big words and the statistics. However, the two points that the short chain fatty acids, um, the two points that stuck with me were that um, they stimulate leptin, which is the hormone that makes us feel full, and those short chain fatty acids suppress the hormone ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone. So it makes us not as hungry and I want to eat more whole grains and more beans because I want to get over the cravings and the addictions. Um, high fiber foods make you feel fuller, longer, and it also helps you burn fat. How much fiber does the human being need? Well, most Americans only get three grams of fiber a day, and that is not enough, and that's one of the reasons why we have an obesity epidemic and so many diseases. Um, the, they've done all kinds of studies on um, people who lived like we did 100 years ago, and they consume around 100 grams of fiber per day. You don't want to do that overnight. You would overpower your system, but we want to be increasing, increasing, increasing so that we can get our body in homeostasis and optimal health. Um, Dr. Gregor next talked about water-rich foods. Well, water has zero calories, so foods like fruits and vegetables that are full of water are the ones that we want to eat a lot of because they fill up our stomachs and we have uh, stretch receptors in our stomach to tell us how full we are. So we're really full with hardly any calories. Good thing. Um, he also talked about soups and blending the vegetables up into the soup because they trap water. Like if you were just to drink a glass of water, it would flush out of you very quickly. But if you blend that water up into your soup, the fiber um, helps to trap that water and it carries through the system and of course it um, it works itself through slowly and gradually but keeps you fuller longer. Um, next Dr. Greger talked about eating foods that had a low glycemic load. What does that mean? Um, it means foods that digest slowly keep your blood sugars at an even keel. Foods that have been stripped of fiber just flush or dump right into your bloodstream immediately and it um, spikes your blood sugars and then that creates, uh, it causes more insulin to be created and all kinds of problems and fat storage more quickly. I don't need fat storage more quickly. Um, how fast calories dump into our bloodstream determines how addictive they are. So foods that are devoid of fiber, um, like highly processed foods, <clears throat> are going to be much more addictive than foods that have a lot of fiber and they're harder to eat and slower to eat and slower to digest. Um, Foods that are really highly refined are these white powdery substances that are like opioids and um, really act like opioids in our blood system and they create addictions. Those white powdery substances are flours, sugars, and the highly refined uh, food-like substances that are created with junk food. Let me back up a little bit. I realize that I am a carb addict. I understood that, but I all, all vegetables are carbs, so I am not addicted to corn on the cob. I can eat one or two ears of corn, and I'm satisfied. I am not addicted to that. But you take kettle corn, and I could eat 
a thousand calories of that while I'm watching a TV show without even thinking about it because it's covered with salt, oil, and sugar. And um, those highly refined, Dr. Goldhammer calls them drugs, um, cause addiction. Quick, quick uh, insulin spike, quick, yeah, blood sugar spikes is what I'm going for. Um, those things are absorbed quickly into our bodies and cause all kinds of problems. Now you take wheat berries that, you know, you pick the wheat kernels off of, or grains, whatever they are, off the plant, and they're really hard. It takes about ugh, 45 minutes to cook them. It takes a long time to chew them. I am not alert. I am not addicted to wheat berries. But if you take those wheat berries and grind them into flour and make really delicious pastries out of them, I could eat thousands of calories of that and I become addicted. Especially if you take those that wheat and turn it into uh, Cheez-Its. Oh my gosh, I can't stop eating those things. It is not that I am addicted to carbs. I am addicted to refined drug-like substances that have been, have all the fiber stripped out of them. So I want more fiber in my diet. Um, fiber reduces hunger, it reduces cravings, it reduces addictions, and it speeds up our metabolism and it speeds up our fat burning. I have a trip in eight weeks plan to go to the San Francisco area and visit some book club friends. And reading this information has given me so much motivation that I can eat delicious food, high fiber, high fiber foods, be really full, really satisfied, make all of my cells happy and healthy, and I can lose weight. Um, we're going to have a photo shoot and that's also a motivation for me to really stick with a healthy, healthy eating plan and boost the amount of fiber that I have. Next, Dr. Go Dr. Michael Greger, uh, I wanted to say Goldhammer. Dr. Michael Greger talks about eating low fat foods. Dr. Goldhammer talks about that too. But in this book, Dr. Greger talks about eating low fat foods. Uh, we only got just a little bit of it in this chapter. We'll dive into it next week in greater detail. Um, but two of my book club friends um, gave me some wise quotes about eating lower fat foods. Graham said, your arteries are never not looking. He was quoting Dr. Clapper. The fat that we eat clogs up our arteries and whether we want to lie to other people and hide it, our arteries always know. Um, Alan quoted Bill Maher, who said, have you ever seen a fat 90 year old? No, because they die of all kinds of diseases before then. The 90 year olds are the ones that are taking better care of themselves. Now, my eight week goals are to um, eat more plants, that are grown and not made into something else. Uh, I don't have any problem sticking with just eating plants, but I wanna eat fewer refined processed foods. I wanna eat foods as they're grown. I want to eat more rich, water rich foods and blend some veggies into my soups so that I'm fuller longer. Um, I wanna eat berries with my oatmeal because they act as starch blockers. And then I want to eat resistant starches that are found in beans and uh, whole grains and root vegetables. And he talked about if you cook and cool potatoes and pasta, it creates a resistant starch so that you don't absorb all the calories that you eat. Um, I also want to definitely drink more water besides just eating the water rich foods. I want to get at least 80 ounces of water a day. I want to walk or do water Zumba at least an hour a day and get in lots and lots of leafy green vegetables and lots of fruit. Uh, these are my goals. Think about goals that you would like to have during the week. You're worth it. Uh, 
and the the science is exciting that we can get over these carb addictions that have been plaguing us forever. Remember, you are worth it. Never give up. I'll see you next week. Bye.